What's up guys, Ngate Gaming here. Today's video is going to be on an interesting topic which I actually discovered from just perusing through YouTube. And obviously I'm going to be explaining the method I'm using now specifically as you've seen on the thumbnail, which is obviously to make sure that you're able to get golden gears to double rune make um, blessings at the same time or rather consecutively. But obviously, if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe as it helps with the algorithm. And let's get started. So as you can see, I was actually managed or rather I managed to get one of the first rune maze. This is the one that usually enhances all the blessings that you have within uh, your team. And I think it is quite different if you have an actual Ruin Mei in your team. Now, I don't have Ruin Mei on this account, but as you can see, um, right after I managed to go into another domain, and what happens is that I got the second Ruin Mei blessing, the one that gives all, uh, the one that gives a specific uh, type of uh, eon or a specific type of blessings uh, for a specific path, and it's like literally all of them. Now, there is a specific way for this. Um, a lot of people online, I actually got this information from, I got this information from YouTube when I was searching around YouTube and I found someone saying that you can get two Ruin Maze in a single run of Golden Gears, which at, at first I thought it was a bit too complicated, but it's actually not that complicated. I'm gonna walk you through this process. Um, it's, I'm not gonna make it an hour's process. I'm gonna make it as quick, concise, and precise as, as possible. So you can kind of get and understand where and how I actually managed to get two Ruin Maze on this run. But with that said, let me show you. Okay, so I'm not gonna, if, if the audio is a bit different to the intro, it's because I've switched over to a different uh, recording software and to just basically do the recording while I talk and show you what I did. So the first thing you want to do, I'm gonna make it very quick and very uh, seamless, is that you want to go, obviously go to Simulated Universe and you want to go to Golden Gears, which is obviously what you want to do, right? Now here, I've not actually, because I've just been playing the game at random, I've just recently gotten here right now, but what you want to do, you can go into any single domain. There's no specific to it. You want to go obviously and choose the path that you want. There's no specific path that you should choose. You can choose any path that you want. So for example, I'm going to choose this path of propagation that because I have a good team that works for my propagation team, which is obviously my Silver Wolf, Dang, uh, Dang Hang, uh, Ting Yung and Bai Lu, right? Now, the most important thing that you want to do, right, is go to this specific dice roll which is the current exploration dice roll right and you want, you want to go to the third one which is called pursuit now re the reason why you want to go to pursuit is because this specific dice roll yes it allows you to either move to other specific uh, types of the map or it allows you to copy one domain to another and this goes hand in hand with obviously the dice uh, rolls that you want to put in place. So for, for me, or rather what I recommend, is that you have ex specifically this two always set, which is immediately generate two double or choice beacons in occurrence, occurrence abnormal or reward domains. And then you want to basically choose this one as well, which is select one domain, copy the selected domain to two random locations on the current plane and apply knowledge to it. Yeah. And then the rest, if you can make it select one domain, copy, select one domain, copy, so immediately copy the, you basically want a build or rather a set, a dice roll set that is just select one, copy, select one, copy, immediately, immediately copy the current domain, so on and so forth. And the combo specifically is that you want the occurrence abnormal. Yes, you want the specifically the current abnormal to basically have a double or a choice beacon. After that, you combo it and use your cheat chance to basically select that specific domain. I would recommend the one with double, right? And then it obviously pushes it to two random locations on the current plane. Thereafter, every single place or every single occurrence of normal that you end up on, you want to always kind of end up rolling into this, this or this, which makes it really easy. The, the hardest part is getting this combo done, which is obviously getting this and then getting this. But once you get this two done, 
half the time you're usually getting this three as your obviously default quick roll. And half the time, if you get one of these two again, it, it's even of benefit to you specifically. So the one thing you want to do is make sure you get this. If you have two cheat chances, even better. Use this as your first cheat chance and then use this as your second cheat chance. And then from there, once you're able to land on a current abnormal two doubled, and that, that's pretty much it. So in short, you choose this specific die roll. Yeah, this one, Pursuit. And then you want your pieces or the uh, dice rolls to be this specific set, which is double choice, select one to two random locations, and then select one copy, select one copy, and then immediately copy to the current domain. So that's the first step. So from here, like I said, the first thing you want to do is sort of be able to get that double, double occurrence, which gives you either a choice or two. And then one of the main things that you want to do is always go on an occurrence normal um, domain. Don't do, try as much as you can to only land on those specific domains. And that's why this build is specific, specifically geared to it. And as, as you can see, all I'm doing is copying the occurrence abnormal domains as much as I can and then going to those specific domains. And that's that's all. That's all you need to do. If obviously you, are, you land in a situation like this, you, you can go to other specific domains. But then as you can see here, I obviously re-rolled it and then I chose that to abnormal. It obviously gave me so much. And then obviously I went into that one or the second one there. I went into that one. And then from there, all I'm doing is try, hoping as much as I can to be able to get obviously again, a two double roll similar to that. And then I copy the one with two like you're going to see here in a few minutes. Boom. And what you're doing is only ever landing on occurrence domains. And that's literally the gimmick. You only ever want to learn land or go into an occurrence of normal domain that has the two beacon, two be beacon or like the three kind of choice beacons. I, I think they're called choice beacons. So as you can see, that's what I'm exactly doing here. And you want to copy you want to copy that as much as possible every single time. You want to copy, rinse and repeat. Go into an abnormal uh, occurrence. Uh, copy it, rinse and repeat. Go into a normal occurrence. But the one thing that you really want to do is making sure that you have at least a, a choice beacon or a double beacon within that occurrence abnormal. If you have a double beacon, it's even better because that's the one you really want to copy. And then from there, it's just basically rinse and repeat. So you can, as you can see here, I sort of just, uh, okay, now at this point, like every single one of them was, 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 a, was, a, was a double beacon. So I was just trying my best right now to just go to those ones. So, and then from there, it's at some point, it's like you've gone through every single abnormal occurrence that you end up getting now the Ruin May. Well, you get one Ruin May, like as you're seeing here. And then from there, as, I, as you see, then I chose the second one. And obviously this one just gave me like a fight. Did the fight. Finished the fight. And then obviously went into now. I hope it doesn't give me do the whole fight. So, okay. So I'm going to pause there for a second. Sorry, I had, to, I had to skip the video. So I finished the fight and then I came here and selected select one domain to copy, which is obviously which was going to be, I don't know if I re-rolled or I selected uh, this one specifically, but I checked on the map to see where I am in terms of the double choice. And I was, I have those three there specifically. So let me copy them. So then I went exactly to the, I went up so I can make sure that I'm able to then get all three. And lo and behold, after getting the first Rune May, I go into this uh, domain, which is now the one you're seeing there after copying it or trying to copy it. I go up so I can get as many of those domains as I can. And lo and behold, I got the second Ruin May. So I think the cheese to this is that you basically want to land on as many abnormal occurrence domains as possible. And that in turn, I think kind of... Uh, I don't know what, I don't know how to explain exactly. Um, I might be wrong, but I don't think it's a glitch per se. I think it's more of the RNG that you've landed on so many occurrence abnormal domains, especially with double choice or uh, with double or choice uh, occurrence or domains that at some point after doing maybe even 10, it, it has to give you the option of ruin May because realistically, this was my first run. 
this was not a second run, this was not a third run, this was my first run, and I got double Ruin Mei. And at first, I thought I'd only get the one Ruin Mei, but in essence, I got two of them. And that actually shows, because you've gone through every single occurrence the main, it is going to give you both of them if you're just simply going on that and that's pretty much it that is how that's that's the gimmick to getting the double rune may i don't think there's a way specifically to follow it that you have to choose a specific path or choose a specific um uh choose a specific uh what do you call it um like blessing per se i think it's more so just go on as many occurrence abnormal domains as possible and go on the ones that are specifically either double or the ones that are either choice. My my pick specifically, choose the ones that are double. 